Cincinnati's rare rhino traveled 10,000 miles to help save his species. There are only 100 Sumatran rhinos left on Earth, including Harrapin, who you see there, chowing down on a nice meal, taking a nap. <laughs> uh, this journey of paramount importance, and WCPO had the only camera there. Nine on your side anchor Tanya O'Rourke talked to photojournalist Emily Maxwell about this incredibly important adventure. Every single rhino counts and that's why even though Harapan's one rhino he could be really key to the survival of his kind. Harapan means hope and the Cincinnati Zoo he might just be the rhino's last chance. There are only about a hundred Sumatran rhinos alive today and bringing Harapan to a sanctuary in Indonesia means he can breed. Emily Maxwell can't believe her luck getting to see it firsthand. I uh, flew across the world with a team from the Cincinnati Zoo, and we helped take a Sumatran rhino back to his ancestral homeland. And it was one of the coolest, craziest things I've ever done in my life. Getting from the Cincinnati Zoo to the Sumatran rhino sanctuary in Indonesia with an endangered animal in tow was an odyssey. When we started our trip, we started from the Cincinnati Zoo, and then um, from there we drove to the Columbus Airport. From Columbus, we flew to Chicago. From Chicago, we flew to Anchorage. From Anchorage, we flew to Hong Kong, and then from Hong Kong, we flew to Jakarta. Once we got to Jakarta, after traveling for about two days at that point, we found out that we still had 10 hours to go to get to the Sumatran Rhino Sanctuary in Indonesia. Emily had been in the same clothes for more than three days. And Harapan? By the time we arrived in Sumatra, Harapan had been in the crate for 53 hours. It took another 12 hours to get him out of the crate and into his new enclosure. They had to coax him out of the crate and then once out, crane him into an enclosure covered in mosquito netting. Emily says she even pitched in getting this extremely valuable animal safely into his new home. Throughout this long ordeal, one of the most powerful things Emily says she witnessed was the incredible bond between zookeeper Paul Reinhardt and Harapan. Reinhardt has been with Harapan all his life. Emily says he kept Harapan calm throughout the travel, slept in his new surroundings at the sanctuary the first night, and when it came time to say goodbye... It was really heartbreaking to watch. It was like he was walking away from his family. Paul fed him his, fav his, la his favorite treat, which was a banana. And then after that, he just gave him a pat on the side and the head. And then Paul walked out of his new paddock there and Harapan came to the gate and watched Paul walk away. A bittersweet goodbye and the hope that Harapan can help change the world for the better. Tanya O'Rourke, nine on your side. What an